Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel again and this video is all about flutter and angel so uh, there was a video which i made about angel and i wanted to get your response if you want a, a like a, some a couple of videos on angel or not so i got a very good response from your side and thanks for that and that's why i thought about creating a flutter plus angel video so but uh, we are going to do basically is we are gonna use angel which is um the framework for backend in dart and we will integrate it with our flutter application so basically um we will have our backend inside our flutter application and we will see how we can communicate between our flutter app as well as the backend so if you are someone who is not uh, uh, willing to use firebase or you don't have any backend knowledge then you can definitely watch this series and if you are excited then just press the like button right now and subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already and let's start so as you can see we are here in the our normal flutter create project where we have just my app it's doing nothing and uh, it's have a home page which i have just modified by a stateful widget and it's just showing in the center no data i have a fetch data method which we uh, are calling in the init state but it's doing nothing as of now so the good part of angel is that it's very easy to set up you can also perform hot reload and all this stuff so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into the main root directory i'm gonna create a folder called backend inside that we can have another folder let's say bin and inside that we can have a server dot dart file i mean you can change the names you don't have to include this bin folder as well or you can change the name of this folder as well it's totally your choice everything is in your hand now to communicate from front end to back end or to any http server we have to add a dependency and uh, http library so for that i'm gonna use do you can use http or whatever you want it's totally your choice um nobody is gonna restrict that okay um so we got do here and uh, for back end we need angel framework so i'm gonna just add angel so if you are not familiar at all so we are gonna use 2.1.0 then watch my previous video where i have explained how to write your first api in angel so we added angel we need one more dependency which is hot angel hot uh, for hot reloading uh, to our backend server so that we don't have to restart it again and again now back to our server dot dart uh, first of all you have to import angel framework so yes angel framework uh, dot dart and then you have to import um angel hot so if you just want to uh, you know uh, start from okay we got some <laughs> error although in angel dot angel hot so let's try uh, again and we should get exit code zero rather than one zero means success yes we got it so now going back here um so we can just import um angel hot and guys i'm not gonna explain everything so watch my previous video for that we gonna have main method so we will have two main methods one in the uh, back end one in the front end so this is our back end so we will have an application we can just create an object of angel class we are not passing any serializer or generator or anything else so it's gonna be very simple return app and uh, we just gonna extract this method so let's give it a name let's say create server and um it can be of type future so um yes and then we can make it asynchronous and this looks good now we are gonna use the hot reloader class and uh, we can say hot okay hot hot reloader and it takes a generator first of all and then the paths okay so um for generator we can pass our um application angel application so we can just pass create server for path we have to add all those paths where which we think you know we are gonna uh you know perform hot reload to those paths so i can just copy my path from here which is flutter angel i can just write it here and then i can say let's say backend backend okay that this path is what i want to refresh and it should work and then what i'm gonna say await hot dot start server i'm gonna give the server url so 127.0.1 
and you can use any port let's say I'm adding 8383 okay it's 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 totally irrelevant if you just want to add something else you have to you can use anything and that's it that's all you have to do now let's uh, do a rough app dot get request I mean some fudgy request or some random request I should say uh, it takes a handler which means it gives you a request and response and uh, here from here you can you know uh, write anything or you can get the parameters so rest dot write let's say hello angel so this is how you will you know write this uh, now let's let's do one more thing in the backend folder we will create one more file I'm gonna call it rest dot http uh, this is actually not uh, like you know it does not uh, mean that you have to write it or it's just an uh, VS code extension which can help us in doing get requests or post request easily I mean you don't have to use postman if you want to use it then it's fine even if you can just if you just want to hit from flutter application then also it's fine and I'm just gonna say 127.0.0.1 dot zero dot one which is our local host 8383 and uh, if I do a get request right now then it will not work because we have to restart our server so first of all I'll just go to my backend slash bin folder from here I'll write dart dash dash observe and I can say server dot dart so that I can restart my server and uh, hot reload will be enabled so you can see hot reload is enabled now if I just do a send request then you can see I got this uh, 200 ok as well as hello angel and without stopping the server let's try to change it hello angel to hello pk ok and uh, if I do a request now without so you can see hello pk we got we didn't start the server again that's why we are using hot reload uh, that's one of the things now um, let's go back to our application so first of all I will import here um, do library so yes do dot dart and in the fetch data method uh, I can have something called a response this response is a class of do and then I can say await do um, do so new do and dot get and I can say um, http 127.0.0 one colon eight three eight three and uh, yeah that's that's all you have to do and then you can just say uh, our res which is our string is response the good part of do is that you it, it, it's already uh, passed so you don't have to use json decode and then you can just say set state and uh, to be honest it will not work because uh, of some reason let me just do a hot restart and let me just show you so if you'll do a hot restart your compiler will get stuck here as you can see it got stuck and it will give you error socket exception connection refused because we are using this url 127 and since my phone is also on the same wi-fi as well as my laptop but this url will not work we have to write the ip address so I'll go to my system preference in the Wi-Fi and here I can check my IP address so just copy your IP address and replace your server URL or this particular address with this and I guess it will restart the server I we need to restart the server because our server is actually you know working on that particular URL so let's just restart the server because we are changing the URL and now it's working here now in the home page let's change it as well and uh, now it's 128.168.0.179 let's do a hot restart and see if we get something else rather than no data and yes we got hello pk <laughs> and yeah that's the beauty so yes this is how you can you know uh, do request and uh, fetch into your flutter application um the good part is that um, so what what else we can do um also if our res is null so if res is <clears throat> null let's say then we can show a circular progress indicator um if because that's what uh, we are doing right now and yep this looks much better to me okay so yep we also need this okay so hello pk we got um so if i do a hot restart now there should be a circle 
and hello pk yes so this is about uh, the get request and uh, yep this is you know really easy let's say we have we have to have a post request as well so i'll write a post request here and uh, i'll go into details in more videos but let's try with post request and this time the url will be create user and uh, rather than sprinting hello pk we will get the data from the user let's say uh, first of all we will do what let's make it asynchronous first we will await it with the request dot parse body so we need to parse the body first on the backend and uh, then what we can do um, from here um, we have to do something let's say uh, this is fine now let's say uh, oh okay so before that let's go back to our home page and what we will do so rather than this response let me just comment it down this time i'm gonna say a post request okay and to the url would be a uh, create user and in the data part what i want to send is a json where i'll say name myself so this time let's say i'm passing the name pawan and uh, I'm saying, let's say, age is, let's say, 20, something like this. So this time I'm passing this data. So now in the back end, I want to receive the parameter name parameter. And I want to pass this, that parameter in the hello rather than PK. So I can say, let's say, I want name. So variable name. And, uh, you know, um, we can say request dot body as map so we want the body as map and i want to access the name parameter from here and as string i can say and this time rather than pk i can say name in case let's say everything is failed or we get to some other url we can use the fallback and we can just say request comma response and uh, Okay, we can throw angel http exception dot let's say bad request and we can pass nothing found anything which, which you want you can just pass it here and yes that's it so now let's try to do a hard restart and let's see if that works and we got hello pawan yes so if i change the name from here from pawan to let's say hello uh, dart then if i do a hard restart will it work yes it's it's returning hello dart and let's try to change this user to uses and then it should get give us the bad request so if i do that it got stuck here and we got um the exception http status error 400 which means a bad request so yes um we got it so because we are not handling it that means you know we cannot do much so yeah that that's how you can use angel with your flutter application i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want more videos on this we can explore it more we can learn about the databases we can learn about the routers and a lot of stuff so yes there are middlewares there's request life cycle there is testing there are a lot of things and in fact we can write test cases to um, check our apis in our flutter application so yeah that's about it so press the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel share this video with others and also let me know in the comments what's your thought about this particular series so thanks guys for watching and keep fluttering keep learning and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care